Welcome to our journey to Storybook Land. My name is Parker, and I'll be your captain and storyteller today. For your safety, please remain seated. Keep your hands, arms, legs, and feet inside the boat at all times, and please supervise any children. Our story doesn't take any unexpected turns. Now, most people travel to enchanted worlds to the pages of a book. For those that go in person, whether it be through a rabbit hole or a little boozy dust, often find a way into the magical or even fantasy. But do not worry though, it looks like we're heading to the Jaws, the Whale, Monstro. We're really being transported to a magical place, and that place is called Storybook Land. <laughs> Over on the left is the cave of the big bad wolf. He's always after the three little pigs who live over to the right hand side of those three little houses. One made of straw, one made of sticks, and one made of guaranteed wolf proof bricks. And ducks. And ducks. And giant side ducks. And well, then our story takes a strange turn for around the corner to the left is the quaint English village home to Alice. One golden afternoon she chased a white rabbit down the rabbit hole and fell down, 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 down into Wonderland. Things only became curiouser and curiouser from there. Over on the right is London Park, where Peter Pan took John, Wendy, and Michael Darling over to Neverland, where they would never ever have to grow up. Just ahead is the mysterious and enchanted city of Akabah. It's where Aladdin first bumped into Princess Jasmine in the marketplace and Solar Heart. Although they came from two different worlds through the power of love and the help of a genie, they were married. And to this day, live in the Sultan's Palace atop the hill. Magical places are where love shines, just like the twinkling lights on the archways above us. The very same lights that Aladdin and Jasmine soared over, sideways and under on their magic carpet ride to a whole new world. While well, good stories are full of love and light, they do have their dark places as well. Places of mystery that the Cave of Wonders just ahead. Legend has it whoever sets a genie of the lamp free will be granted three wishes. So let's make a wish and see if it comes true. Snow White wished for a safe place when she fled the evil queen and came across the cozy forest cottage on the right. It's the home of the seven dwarfs who offered her shelter and thanks for her kindness. You might even see their mind and hear them whistle while they work. Cinderella wished to go to the ball, but her wicked stepmother forbade it and left her behind in the blue roof chateau on her left. Fairy Godmother granted that wish for once Cinderella nice failed to leave the ball by midnight. The coach turned back into a pumpkin and it's still up there on the bridge. Wishes are a powerful part of storybooks while magic has its limits. Thankfully, it left us not. And now Cinderella and her prince in the bottom of the castle above the kingdom. There's magic everywhere here in Storybook Land, even in all the miniature little plants all around us. They will never quite fully grow up thanks to an enchantment put on them by Tinkerbell. That's what made this place a favorite for master storyteller Walt Disney and continues to inspire new stories to this day. inspired stories like the wind in the willows with Molly, Ratty, and Mr. Toad, whose stately manner is upcoming on the left. But sorry folks, Jay Thaddeus Toad is at home right now as he's off on the motor car on a wild ride to nowhere in particular. Beyond that is the kingdom of Arendelle where sisters Anna and Elsa first met their frozen friends Olaf, Kristoff, and Sven, and discovered something even more powerful than Elsa's magic. A sister's love. While in the Alpine village on our right hand side, the woodcarver Geppetto wished upon a star that his puppet would become a real boy. And even though Pinocchio was still a puppet after he saved Geppetto from Monster the Whale, the Blue Fairy granted that wish. 
Geppetto's wishes like those made in so many fairy tales. Just like the one the Little Mermaid Ariel made when she followed Prince Air to the castle on our right. Well, that inspire her to give up her life under the sea, take her first steps on dry land, and finally fulfill her wish to become part of our world. Her story began in the underwater city of Atlantica, which is right behind us, and spills out into adventures ultimately, and like all good stories do, with happily ever after. As we close our book on our story and approach the dog, please keep your hands, arms, and fingers inside the boat.